Vintage style decoration is a classic that never goes out of style, although filling a room with vintage pieces can be overloaded. In this video, I tell you which decorative objects we should focus on, what retro patterns can work for us, and what details to add to balance the vintage style with a modern touch. Vintage decoration is based on the use of objects from the past and usually includes furniture dating from the middle of the 20th century and subsequent decades. It is often confused with retro, but there is a clear difference. While vintage decoration refers to original furniture that has been manufactured a long time ago, retro is new furniture that is designed based on decorative styles prior to its date of manufacture, reinterpreting old designs. It is important to take these differences into account to achieve a cohesive and authentic vintage decoration. We have a video on the channel where you can perfectly understand the difference between old, retro and vintage. I leave the link in the description box. Washed white is a key element in vintage style decor and is often paired with soft, faded colors. As for the materials, natural and weathered woods are frequently used, as well as wrought iron or wicker pieces. When it comes to prints, floral designs are a key element in vintage decoration. These patterns add a romantic and nostalgic touch to the space, reflecting the essence of this decorative style. Nothing captures the vintage style better than salvage craft furniture. These are objects that were designed to be used in specific jobs, such as desks, bureaus, drawers, chairs, butcher tables, etc. This one, for example, belonged to a printing press and the types or letters used to print were kept in its drawers. If you want to achieve a vintage haul, we suggest several very inspiring proposals. You can place an old mini two-seater sofa and on it an aged mirror, like this one in the image forming a grid. What is stained and rusty? Better, it will bring more realism. Do not miss the moldings that decorate the wall. A wooden table, white chairs with padded seats and an old lamp can create a very cozy vintage atmosphere. Although they also have classic and even rustic tones, their essence is perceived due to the fact that most of their pieces are recovered. The key to success is contrast, as in this dining room. Another successful idea to create a vintage decoration in the hall is what we have in this image. Place an attractive vintage sideboard made of patinated wood and decorate the wall with a painting with geometric motifs. Also making a positive impact will be a restored bacon table and a composition of wood-framed black and white family photos. Although the ideal for the vintage style is for the pieces to show their original appearance, if its finish is very dark or you don't like it, you can give it a vintage touch with paint. How do you paint a vintage piece of furniture? It's best to choose a chalk paint in a soft or faded color, such as off-white, pale pink, or blue-gray. Then sand some parts to give it an old look. If none of these options you like to decorate your hall, here I offer you a third. Browse antique stores and flea markets for vintage furniture with history, like this dark brown Elizabethan chest of drawers. Now it has a new look in white, even on the handles and hardware. To decorate it, transparent glass objects are perfect. Although the vintage style is associated with solid wood pieces and floral prints in romantic settings, it also has a modern edge. This version includes pieces from the 50s in the decoration, such as armchairs or sideboards with stylized lines, more modern, but which also refer to another era. To integrate with the most current, soft and pastel colors are included in combination with wood, as can be seen in this modern vintage style room. Decorating in a vintage style does not mean filling the house with salvaged pieces like an antique store, as the result can be too overwhelming. However, it is possible to add a vintage piece of furniture to a modern living room, which will improve its level without overloading the environment. What are the coating materials that have a vintage touch by nature? Undoubtedly, white subway tiles and hydraulic tiles are perfect for kitchens and bathrooms. The simplicity of the design of the former is contrasted with the full-color floral and geometric motifs of the latter. If you decide to use them in your bathroom, you will create a space with as much charm as the one in the image, with an independent bathtub included. The vintage style in the bedroom is closely related to romantic and feminine environments. White iron beds, 
bedding with floral prints, antique pieces. Everything contributes to giving the bedroom that air of the past that characterizes vintage. And you cannot miss the candles, jars with flowers in soft tones, and old accessories such as a clock or a trunk. Do you want your room to have a vintage style everywhere? Then opt for a true classic, a genuine brown leather Chester sofa, like the one pictured. Did you know that it was created in the 18th century by the 4th Earl of Chesterfield to improve the posture of his servants? Its solid design, with its elegant padding and time-worn leather, gives it that lived-in furniture feeling that you love. You can complement it with a library or a recovered chest of drawers that you can restore, or not. You can also create small points of interest in the living room with a vintage style, such as a reading corner. The one in the image is made up of a typical Nordic armchair from the 50s, since Scandinavian furniture, lamps and objects from this decade have become emblematic pieces of design. More vintage elements? Wallpaper with a flower print, paintings with natural motifs and metallic lamps. Use aged wooden frames in paintings and mirrors as basic accessories to decorate vintage rooms, like the one in the image. It could be restored, but don't you think they have more charm with their chips? Look how it looks leaning against the wall, behind the dining room table. What are the most appropriate colors in vintage kitchens? If you opt for neutral colors, white, gray, beige, and pastel tones, pink, blue, turquoise, you will be right. Another success will be to combine white furniture with natural wood countertops, as in the image. For decoration, write down these ideas. Moldings and shell handles on the drawers, tin cans and boxes, siphons, and old scale. Did you know that the industrial style is very vintage? There is nothing like equipping a dining room with wrought iron elements, small tables, garden chairs, metal lamps. And to give the final touch, decorate the table with some tin jugs and you will have a 100% vintage kitchen. Tulip, Eames, Tolix. Do they ring a bell? They are the names of those vintage pieces that over time have become decoration icons. The longer they have, the more value they acquire. If you want to give a special touch to your dining room, place authentic vintage furniture, like these designer chairs in the image, metallic tolex with an aquamarine green finish. Who would say that they are over 80 years old? The success in vintage decoration lies in finding the balance between the old and the modern. Are you thinking of including an old cabinet or a wall shelf in your kitchen to display your crockery? Or keep the worn tile floor because it gives it charm? Brilliant! But that does not mean that you cannot combine it with more modern elements, either with the rest of the furniture or with small appliances such as coffee makers, kettles or retro refrigerators, that is, currently produced but with a style inspired by bygone eras. And speaking of how to combine the new and the old, see how good a semi-open sink cabinet with modern lines looks in the bathroom, to which vintage details have been added in the handles, taps, mirrors and sockets. Metallic touches in copper, bronze or brass that perfectly recreate the atmosphere of the past. If the suspended sinks remind you of old water containers, take note of this other idea to achieve a vintage bathroom. Freestanding sinks, which will undoubtedly transport you to your grandparents' house. They were and are ideal for small spaces. Add telephone faucets and lever handles in the shower and cross handles in the sink, as in the picture. The book-style mirror and a metal sign, belonging to an old establishment, add much appeal. And as for your bedroom, how can you give it a vintage style in the decoration? Playing with the details. For example, recover a wooden headboard that used to be a shutter or an old door, or if you prefer, a wrought iron model. In addition, equip the room with a worn chest of drawers from the last century, a chandelier, some chandeliers with history or trunks and leather suitcases as a bedside table, as in the image. There is no shortage of ideas. The best way to give a vintage touch to your workspace, whether in the bedroom or in the living room, is to place a recovered desk. It would be nice to get a single wooden desk with a drawer and a folding seat. Or one of those desks that opened and closed with a mesh door. This one in the picture has been created with a meat cutting table and two antique nightstands. It cannot be more original. Large flowers, geometric motifs. 
Patterns are a key element in a vintage decoration, be it cushions, upholstery, curtains, bedding, or wallpaper. But beware! Use these items sparingly to avoid overloading the environment. If you usually go to flea markets or vintage stores, search and find those typical objects from the 50s, 60s, and 70s that marked an era. They will be very useful when decorating your home. Advertising signs, movie posters, metal plates, old telephones, typewriters, lamography cameras, pieces of colored glass, globes, cages, metal watering cans, wine bottles. But make sure they are original. True vintage decor accepts no imitations. Remember that when decorating in a vintage style it is important to take into account the following points. The combination of the new and the old, details such as handles and taps, the moderate use of patterns, and the use of characteristic objects from past eras, as focal points of the whole set. Do not forget that the most important thing is that your house reflects your personality and tastes, so go ahead and play with the decoration and create your own vintage style. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget you can support the channel through Patreon, PayPal, in the description box, or through the YouTube Super Thanks in the button below. In addition to giving us your like and subscribing to our channel for more interesting content. Until next time.